Hey y'all, I'm up here looking at my bees today. In case y'all don't notice, I've got twice the bees that I had last time y'all saw me. Not twice the bees, but two times more active hives. I enjoy sitting up here and just looking at them, watching them, listening to them. It's very peaceful. Especially this time of year when it's nice and comfortable, temperate. But uh, yesterday, my friend came over to help me check my bees, and uh, we had a bunch of queen cells, tons of bees in my two hives. And he said, Man, we need to split these so uh, they don't swarm. He said, We can make you some new hives. So. We went and got some of his stuff, his equipment, and came back, and we turned my two halves into six. And um, so I now have four, and he took new, we made two nukes, which is a small little temporary half, and he took two to his house, and um, because most of, all of his bees, but one half died last year, so, and he just split his, so he has two, and then I sent two more of mine with him so we both have four hives now which is really cool I'm excited because next year we'll get twice the honey that we had we'll get this year if not more so I just got up here to check on him we we went to church this morning and we came back and had lunch and I just now made it up here and the first half, the third half, and the last half are really rolling good. The second, the, the fourth one to the right, there's nothing in right now. That's just there in case one of them on a whim decides to swarm. We'll have everything we need to catch them. Or if, uh, and there's some stuff, some frames we've got sitting up there for them to clean off. They're, they're working in this second half to the right, just not as much but I really feel good about them. There's still a ton of bees coming in and out each hive, or at least those three. And uh, I think they're gonna do really well. So what we were gonna do today was come back from church, eat lunch, and put our greenhouse together. But somebody, one of our viewers, we came home last week and there was a greenhouse in a box on our porch, one of those like pretty good size like seed starting greenhouses so we are so excited because now we have room to put all of our plants out and what we were gonna do was come home and put that together make a video for you all and put the plants in there but it's gonna rain at any minute I mean it's like pending they're calling for severe thunderstorms we'll see um, they seem to call for that a lot but uh, or severe weather hyped up anyway but uh, we'll see what happens. So we decided not to go for putting the greenhouse together today, but that I did need to come up and check on my bees. So that's what we're doing. And, uh, they are doing really well. Jack was headed to church this morning for worship practice and his truck, the air conditioner compressor or the pulley seized up on it. So his, his truck was broke down. So we're gonna work on that here in a minute too. It's a busy day, but I'm just taking a little bit of time to relax and check on these bees. I'm gonna walk you down here to show you Jack's trailer here. I think we, I don't think we showed you the finished product. He's primed it, he hasn't painted it yet, but I'm gonna show you how it functions. It's pretty cool. You can drive the mower right up it. So anyway, here it is. So you just pull this pull on the right side. Okay. 
because it's not parked on some somewhere right on the downhill side. And just lay it down. We've got big old bolts welded to the trailer frame in a piece of pipe. And then a piece of pipe welded onto the gate to work as the hinges. And a little skinny pipe right here. Yep. And old carriage bolts we have for the pins. But it uh it works. The mower drives on it. Actually, I probably shouldn't walk on it. Right here. It might wear up, probably. <laughs> There's nothing to stop it. Yeah. <clears throat> but what color are you going to paint your trailer? I think black. All right. Just and all of the lights work. You've got a tag. You are legal now. Yep. And you welded the edges. That looks good. Yeah, I welded all the expanded metal. Uh, welded all that stuff. Yeah doesn't rattle anymore and flop does it no it's i mean yeah nuts. that's good and nothing none of the welds broke when i drove the mower on it which is a good sign yes all right so i fenced i had the boys run some wire back here yesterday on a back piece of the property to run some cows back here because we had some good fresh tall grass so the cows ate yesterday. I'm gonna let them eat today and tonight, and then I'll bring them back out of here and close them out tomorrow. But here's what they've done since last night. It's almost down to the height of this grass, but not quite. But I figure I could pull them now and the grass would recover quicker, but I think that I can leave them in here still the rest of the day and move them tomorrow early. And there'll be still be enough grass to photosynthesize quickly to recover. So it's pretty neat. I like moving the cows, <clears throat> getting them on fresh grass. They've learned the routine. They know to come running when I holler for them. So anyway, I'm, I'm really excited about my bees. My bees are neat. I didn't know that we could make six turn six hives into two obviously i have a lot to learn about bees i learned a lot yesterday so if they all survive we'll have a lot of honey next year anyway all right thank you all for watching if you're not subscribed to our channel go ahead and subscribe click the like button on this video comment below let us know what you're thinking what you've got going on, what you think about what we're doing, any tips that you might have on bees. I'm writing their bee line. Go on. And uh, this bee, hmm, I must look like a flower. Uh, but no, leave a comment below and uh, we will catch y'all on the next video.